Jessica Jane McNamara. Don't know if you can tell by the way I am dressed, but something big is coming. Also, can I just say just for one second, like I feel so sorry for every single person that's graduating because these robes are the least form fitting. They ruin your self confidence. Honestly, they say the camera adds like 14 pounds, but graduation robes add about 16. That makes me uncomfortable. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another video. Ignore the thing in the background, it's a desk that I need to put up, but I can't put it up till Tuesday, but we've got more exciting things happening than I ever anticipated. Grab yourselves a cup of tea, cause it's happening. Wow, I love this. I love role playing. Was this worth the 15 pound that I spent on Amazon? Yes. But, oh. No. You may have heard me complain in the past about my master's. I complain about everything, but specifically today I'm on about my master's degree. And it was a long, winding road. It was dark times. And I thought, mm, I'm done. I'm done. Can't do it anymore. I cannot. I can't do it. And then, it's just, it keeps hitting me in the face. And Are you kidding me? And then, my friends, let me take you on a trip through time. I was just minding my own business, lying in my own bed, when I got a message from Sim Guru Frost. This message said, can I have your address, please? I need to send you some Sims related stuff. And I said, well, I, I said my address. So then, I messaged my mum and I said, I'm getting some Sims stuff through the post. And my mum went, eee, fan dabby dozy bab. So I went, yes, I, it is, yes. And then it took a while. Sim Guru Frost is, I, I assume, America. I'm a bit hyped this video, so you can have to excuse my bullshit. It took a little while and then I got an email from FedEx. Your package is not 0.2 pounds. And I thought, <laughs> not 0.2 pounds. What could it be? The only thing I know, the weight wise, that's small, is my niece and nephew. So I rang my sister, my beautiful sister, and I said, how much did the kids weigh when they were born? Isabella was nine five. Roman was six and a half. Jackson was nearly six. So I thought, well, it's not a baby. So I was very confused and I thought, what could possibly on this earth be not 0.2 pounds? And then I got a knock at the door. Did I? Yeah, I did. I had to sign for it. I got this package through and I thought, mm, the plot thickens. And then I turned it around and I thought, eh? Island Living got released months ago, so I'm going to go Get on the trend. Watch the damn dickens. My dad looked at it and said, I thought you were done with uni. I went, I am. He went, are you going to a Sims uni? And I thought, did it's gonna to have to be a conversation for a different time, Father. So I'm gonna read it out to you. It's very nice marketing, to be honest. Like this marketing right up my alley. Send me more. Dear Plum Bella, it is great pleasure to inform you that you have been accepted in the Foxbury Institute. Please accept my personal congratulations on your achievement. I accept. Foxbury Institute was established only half a century ago with a helpful donation from the generous Landgrab family. I never thought I'd see the words generous and Landgrab in the same sentence, but anyway, here we are. Today, Foxbury Institute has established itself as a premier place of higher learning. Foxbury Institute boasts a striking modern campus, impressive labs and facilities, and a litany of alumni who have litany, but yeah, someone swallowed a thesaurus, who have gone on a storied careers of innovation. Foxbury Institute sets out to inspire future generations while teaching students to aim high and dream big. Please join us at www.youtube.com forward slash the Sims on October 22nd at 8 a.m. PT. I'm assuming it's Pacific time. Specific time. <laughs> For your online orientation, we're excited about working with you on your future. Sincerely. Professor Frost. Glad that you've taken this new direction in life, Professor Frost. One thing that did make me laugh, I'm not gonna lie, the signature. Um, <laughs> it's a very Sims signature, Frost. You must have just grabbed a pen. This is the closest thing I've got that looks like a pen. You must have just grabbed a pen and went, Perfect. So today we're going to be going through this a little bit and then we're also going to be talking about the leak because there has been a leak. I'm not going to lie to you, I absolutely, I big fat hate leaks. I do not enjoy leaks. And you know what I don't enjoy either? Like a new pack's coming out and then yeah, they're all like, we're going to play through this on Twitch. And I'm like, I get, I get why people like that, but I don't like that because I like the element of surprise. It's also my job to go through things early. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to ruin the surprise for all of you guys. I have become the monster I hate. The first things I want to point out about this is obviously Foxbury Institute. Is that a shrimp? No. Lobster? I'm vegan, so I don't eat them. I don't know what they look like. It's a lobster, which is a mascot. I really like mascots. There's something I vibe with. Meat and the llama. 
good terms. And I also did notice the generous land grab family. Now, I did make a comment, a little bit of a snide remark that I didn't think I'd say the words generous and land grab in the same sentence. But also, there's some kind of law being established here, and we talk about that a lot on my channel. Law being L-O-R-E, not L-A-W. The lack of law has been a real issue in The Sims 4 for me, so I like this little nod because land grabs have been known for a very long time for being the richest people, richest players in the game. So I like that it's been set up by the land grab family. Today, Fox Free Institute has established itself as a premier place of high learning. So this seems like, if you're in the UK, it seems like a kind of red brick university, the ones that are more posh, the ones that are the harder to get into. It's got a modern campus. I hate modern camp, like not to rain on your parade here, but I really like historical campuses. But the only universities I've ever been to are like modern campuses. Maybe that's why I don't like them. And obviously there must be a trailer dropping or something on October 22nd at 8 a.m. PT, Pacific Ta- uh, uh, Frick off, right, 8 a.m. PT. I'm not gonna try and like thingy that because apparently I just can't say it. 10 out of 10, we're gonna go on my trusted friend's website who I love very much. And it's boom, 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 simscommunity.com. He's the best place to go for news. Right, see if I can put this green screen up without having to pull out my headphones. Also, yes, I am in pyjamas with my university gown. Oh, look at Mr. Burns with his teddy bear. Probs reject me from Foxborough Institute with this display of behaviour that I am showing. It appears that Microsoft accidentally revealed a listing for The Sims 4 Discovery University. Like, step your game up, Microsoft. This is unacceptable. We did already know that it was Discovery University. I did see a comment on Twitter that made me titter, and it said that I already guessed the name of it. Am I a psychic? And like, no, <laughs> I just saw another leak. I did not guess the name of it. I also did get a lot of comments saying, Plumbella, is this you in the trailer? Like, I wish. I like what I see already but also what I'm seeing is this guy is a member of my university and then this girl seems to be in a different one which I am already pleased about. Still not a fan of the colours of the box art but you know what well, you've got to pick and choose your battles in this day and age. Welcome to Brightchester. Begin a new chapter for your sim when they enrol in the historical university of Brightchester or modern Foxbury Institute. So we've got two types of universities. I'm happy with my place in Foxbury Institute because it's a more elite one not to like rub it in people's faces but I will be interested to see if other sims get game changes, if they d differentiated what they've sent out, if some people have got Foxbury and some people have got Brightchester, that'd be really, really cool. You can live in a dorm or off campus, very cool. I'll be interested to know if it's an open world or not. You can explore it on a bicycle, that's what's making me think, that's what's making me lean in towards open world. Look at this fun dabby dozy thing, just having a whale of a time on its own. Spend time in the student commons, have a study session at the library. Very happy about that, I'm, I'm happy that there's a library, because oh, me and the library were on close terms throughout all of my university education, so I'm very happy that there's a library there instead of just doing it in your own dorms. You can cheer on the student body at a school spirit event and wear school colours to show your sims pride. That's the kind of stuff I love. I've always had high hopes for the University Park. I said this as soon as I made my first initial thoughts on it. I'm still having high hopes. I'm not gonna rain on the Sims Parade today. I'll wait till it comes out. Sims are only university that piques their interest, finding classes in biology, computer science, art history, and even villainy. I'm hoping that these aren't the only classes that are being offered. I'm assuming not. Art history is kind of, for me, it's like a, a denomination of art and history. So they've got to be like history and art separately. So I'm hoping that these aren't the only classes because I'd be disappointed. I can attend a lecture. That's great, you can attend, so I'm assuming it. you go with them. Going to classes or blowing them off will affect your sims grades, so times management is a must. This peaks my interest. I've probably just copied that saying from right here, but whatever, we'll roll with it. This is peaking my interest because it's not just painted out to be, oh, you're gonna have university, blah, 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 go and work, blah, blah, like, There seems to be repercussions, and I am still a bit apprehensive because repercussions aren't really a thing in The Sims 4, but the fact that times management is a must, it's making me excited that this might be a little bit hard. That's what she said. <clears throat> No. Activities like juice pong, great. Your sims can join school organisations. Very nice, I like that. I was in the Harry Potter Association. You just could have guessed that one for free. I didn't even need to tell you that. Mysterious secret society. This was in The Sims 2. I don't think it was in The Sims 3, but in The Sims 2, there was a very secret society and I think you had to get in. There used to be like some kind of assignment left on a table and if you saw it and completed it, I think you got accepted in The Secret Society. Late for class sweatpants or best self slack. Very, very good. I also just want to say, I clearly didn't notice but there's a thing here and it says as school year progresses sims become the best selves and discover who they're meant to be which for me is a kind of nod towards the whole personality systems in the sims 3 like with nerd and jock and everything like that which i am all for i would fully accept a return of that as long as it's developed more because i think there's more than just like three types of people so i hope it's not developed because it's an expansion pack but we will soon see won't we my friend oof just need to knock my computer over there's bikes roommates and more so this honestly is all painting a very pretty picture so far and i am 
excited. I'm not too sure when it's coming out, but there, there will be a trailer tomorrow. If I'm trying to be picky, there can be some reservations that I'm finding. Like for example, there's no sororities or frat houses, but also sororities and frat houses, I think are a very Americanized thing. We don't have them in England at all. Maybe the posh ones do, I don't know, but generally they don't. So I enjoy the fact that they're not there because not everybody who went to university is American, you know? So I'm kind of happy about that. I don't miss it too much. The whole secret society thing is a good replacement for that. It might even be like the frat houses might even be like the secret society, which I think is the best way to go with because then it just, it generalizes it more instead of it being like all Americanized. So I think that's very, very good. And I like that there's two universities with the whole house pride and house clothes and everything like that. I'm hoping this is all just a guesstimation, but I'm hoping that there'll be some proper house rivalries. I'll be very interested to know what the other house's mascot is. I'm assuming it's going to be a llama. It's got to be a llama. Absolutely loving the clothes, to be honest. I think we've come a very long way in The Sims 4 in terms of wearability with the clothes because when the base game clothes came out, they weren't the best, but then these are these are really usable. I like that we're getting more representation with the hairs too because this is a great hair, but it's also very overdone in The Sims. Still great. Oh my God, there's new careers. Where? Where the frick am I reading that? Oh my god, how did I miss that? You can make some mischief pulling pranks against the rival school. Yes! Oh my god, there will be school rivalries. Oh, there's engineering, educational law careers. Oh, screw the law and screw engineering. I'm, I've been dying for an education career. It's like when I play The Sims in my own spare time in The Sims 3, I always put my Sims in the education career. So overall, I'm very, very excited. Over the moon for this pack, as you can tell by, you know, the fact that I literally went out on Amazon and bought myself a graduation robe, which is 2019. And I don't even... Like if T said, you need watching this, please, will you? Let me know when I graduate because I've kind of got to sort things out, hen. I'm over the moon about this. This is, for me is my perfect kind of market and this got me so, so, so excited. And I'm really curious to see what other Sims game changes got, whether they got this one or the other school. I'm starting my own house rivalry. So if anyone got the other school, like fight me. I have really high expectations for this pack. I don't like university packs. I don't. I could always take or leave one, but this one's got me really excited, which I think says something. Maybe because I'm finished with education now. I don't know. So thank you all very, very much for watching this video. If you're not subscribe already please do leave a comment let me know what you think about the whole situation and i'll see you in the next one bye, -bye, 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 -bye guys oh, i need to do that graduation cap throw you off thingy